Hey everybody, it's Josh from Collection DX. Um, we are here today, you're here today, to watch me lose my mind while trying to transform the CM's Corpse Brave Goken 13 Mospeda Right Armor Thick Type. Um, I'm going to try to do this without editing it. Uh, it's not an easy toy to transform. It's not a very good toy. Um, I like Mospeda. It's one of my favorite anime shows and I liked it as Robotech the next generation as a kid I had the old Gakken toy and um, I thought hey this is really great all these companies are coming out with these new Mos Beta toys and the first one of the new ride armors that hit the streets was the CMs so here we go we're going to talk about it this is uh, we'll start with the figure this is the Stick Bernard figure um, we've got a opening closing helmet translucent very nice painted face, fully articulated arms, uh, waist, legs, ankles. Um, it's a nice toy. This this part, this figure is nice. Okay, no, no real complaints with this. The only thing I don't know, and this may be my, my non-familiarity with the design of the figure, is that you'll notice that this is kind of an olive green, where this is kind of a minty green. Um, it would be nice if the whole figure was this color, but once again, that may be my relative un misunderstanding of how it's supposed to look. It's been a while since I've seen the show. So, there is the figure. Cool. Alright. The bike. So, alright. The bike is in this mode, you know, it's not too bad. It's got rubber tires. Um, it's got metal uh, connectors, and this kind of part here is metal has these saddlebags that, that open up that can store stuff in it um, it's you know it's reasonably solid in this mode it's not too bad one of the first problems comes into when you try to mount Scott or stick I'm going to use those interchangeably Scott or stick try to mount him onto the bike it doesn't work well this little peg in the back here that's supposed to go into the back of the waist it doesn't go. I'm not even going to do it because honestly I'd probably throw it across the room and start screaming. And uh, you don't want to see that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right into um, from this mode to ride armor mode, okay? So to prep the stick figure, all you do is pull the legs out. Easy enough. <sighs> okay, so take off the kickstand. Um, you can move the armor, I'm not the armor, the, uh, the saddlebags. Now here's the deal with the saddlebags. You can see inside that they, they slide on a little peg. It's at this point where there's supposed to be room for it to, to come off. It's not the smoothest operation. So once again, you've got to find the place where it's going to come off. And we're doing that. The armor doesn't want to move around right. And at this point, you just take the arm off and you say, the hell with it. And what am I doing wrong? There we go. All right. Pop back on. And then this one just comes off. So that's good. Oh, look, look, another piece fell off while I was doing this. All right. So, brings me to my next point. These things suck. What it is, is, all right. See this little peg here? This actually, this peg is supposed to be in here, okay? And when you go into bike mode, what you would do is, you know, this snaps into there, and then this goes into here. But that doesn't stay on for crap. And the peg, instead of staying secure in there, just comes out too easily. So, very annoying peg comes out, I don't know, it's just a pan the button. Alright, so you take those out. Um, first step you gotta do is you gotta pull this thing up, but, you know, of course, me having gorilla hands, it's hard to get in. There we go. Okay. So, you can pull that back, and it clicks in. Okay. Now, these these can come off. Technically, you can transform it without taking them off. I just find it easier. And these little pegs in the inside 
will come down. Okay. And you notice I lost another piece here. This is like a it's like a kickstand kind of thing that when you're in bike mode you can attach it. Um, it it sucks. It, it's not a good thing. And there's no like end to the pin to keep it from coming out. So it just kind of flops and falls out. So yay for CM's design on that item. It, it falls out on both sides so I'll probably do it again. Same thing here. Bring it down. Okay. Now like the old um well, for, you gotta do a few things first. These little things come out. Okay. Now, like the old gack and you have the little sliding pen. You slide it up. Yeah. Bring it down. Same thing with this side. Slide the pen. Bring it down. So now we're at a place that's kind of like, uh, like that right now. See? This, isn't this perfect transformation? Okay, so we uh, slide out the sides of the cowl here, flip up the little light bars, and just kind of snap it in like so. And same thing on the side here. I feel like I am going to break this. It, it doesn't feel at all sturdy. Um, I'm surprised I haven't broken it yet. And you may just see me do it here on camera if you watch closely. The, the top of the armor anchors in on these little tabs up here. So you can kind of, on the tab, and then there's a little hole on the inside. So, goes in the hole, goes in the tab, and, oh look, it doesn't stick in. What a surprise. It pops out. This goes in. So, where were we? Okay. Um, we have this little armature here. This has to go down on the side, and then this opens up again. Same thing here, this goes in, that's outside of it, and that opens up. The handlebar is turned down. You take your notes, because they don't show you this in the instruction book. Push this thing back down again, and now we go up. Alright, looking great so far! <laughs> Alright, so almost to the point where we can put the figure in. Okay, we'll put these down. These stay down like this. So it kind of is going to look like the right armor we know and love. So, um, next thing we do, of course, is take the figure. And he just kind of goes up and in. And you just kind of gonna wiggle him to get him through. Now, you'll see, like you see on camera, a little peg in the bottom here. It attaches to the middle of the crotch there. And then, remember these white things on the side? There's these little holes on the side of his waist. They come up and pop into those holes, in theory. So you got to just kind of wiggle it, and there you go, that said went in pretty easily, and that said went in, alright, remember the little thing we flipped down the armor, it would be nice if that popped in like a ball joint and just kind of popped, but nah, just kind of hangs in there, and I forgot to do that on this side. fell off again. Isn't this exciting? So, goes in there. Put this little piece of crap back in here. Come on. Didn't I say I wasn't going to edit this? This is a $60 toy, people. You know, 60 bucks. Alright, so, we're getting there. We're almost there. Now that that's done, there are holes in these white panels and there are pegs in the metal things. You can actually kind of line them up 
so that it will pop in. And, and it seems kind of a pain, but you know it's actually a nice feature because it does really tighten up the whole thing if you can get it to work properly. There you go. So that goes in there. Goes in there. Nice and tight. Alright, excuse go in there. Last thing we have is, uh, well not last thing, but uh, we have the armor that clips onto the hands. The arms, like so. I can't believe I'm doing this without swearing. You should have seen me earlier. First time I did this, I was just livid. I couldn't figure anything out. Alright, so... Oh, see, that's kooky. Gotta bring that down. There we go. Alright, so, um, he comes with a neat little targeting scope that just fits like so. There you go. Um, oh, I forgot about this. This is a nice touch, actually. You can pull these out. And then down, and then they, the, they create a nice little vent. Vents for the jets. There we go. So you can see kind of like, ooh, there we go. See, see action there. And this one's not coming out right. There we go. I just knocked the scope off. See, you can kind of see, I mean, that I'm moving it around and things are falling off and this and that. And it's like, oh, this was locked into place, but now that I've moved it, it's coming off. And, like, this still isn't sitting right. Um, okay. So, we get that. Now, another issue of contention is the gun. Okay. Now, the gun came welded into the hand. You can see a little bit of the glue in the hand. But, of course, you know, I'm handling it. The glue came off. And it, like it'll just barely sit in the hand, and also notice like the angle that you can't really get it on the inside. And then, whoa, well, you're trying to do that, and you pop the arm armor off. So if you were to actually finally get this to stay, then you got to put then you got to manage to put the arm armor back on without popping the gun off. Oh, crap! I did it, but that's that's an exception to the rule. Okay. Finally, you have the stand. Yes, that's the stand. Okay? It's a little piece that goes in the back. Just stick it in. And it ends up, ends up being like a tripod. So a gun. You can see that that's the issue there. So, CM Corpse. Uh, Cyclone. Kind of crap. Oh, and I totally forgot a step here. How about that? This thing is going in on the inside now. Done, done. There you go. Um, I mean, it, it looks, it'll, like, if I just leave it like this and stick it on the shelf, you know, it'll look great. It's a nice display piece. There you go. But if you try to handle it, you, you're in for some hard times. I mean, also look at the seam right down the middle. I mean, CM's Corp, they make the most awesome gokins on the planet. And this is what they come up with for transforming a ride armor. It's got to be a whole different design team. Or maybe it was rushed to, to get to the market because there's all these other companies coming out with ride armors. I don't know. But, so, your mileage may vary. If you can get it a good deal, uh, you know, have fun. If you, you know, but I would wait and see what the um, Mega House ones are like and what the Toynami slash Beagle ones are like. That before I made my before you make your final judgment. If you're a must fade or not, you might dig it. It's too complicated for my book. I don't think I'm ever going to take it out of this mode ever again. Really, just going right up on the shelf. It's going to look pretty, and that's about it. So, um, if after all of this you still want one, you can get yours at Hobby Link Japan. Uh, that is where I got mine. So until next time. This is Josh from Collection DX saying uh, so long and uh, have fun with your Mospita. See ya.